Good day, dear students. I'm a teacher of Pedagogical College of Foreign Languages. Today we are having practical phonetics lesson. The theme of our lesson is stress in longer words and compound words. Now, what is stress? In a word with more than one syllable, syllables that stand out more than others, a stressed. An unstressed syllable is one that doesn't stand out. One stressed word, two stressed word. A one stressed word has one stressed syllable. For example, complete. We see here one stressed syllable. A two-stress word has one syllable with main stress and another with secondary stress. For example, disagree. This is the main stress and secondary stress is agree. Main stress or primary stress. In a word with more than one syllable, the syllable with main stress stands out more than any other. In most dictionaries, the symbol is placed before the syllable with main stress. Apostrophe shows main stress. Hundred. Kindergarten. Controversial. Secondary stress. In some words with more than one syllable, a syllable with secondary stress stands out less than the syllable with main stress, but more than the remaining syllables. In most dictionaries, the symbol comma is placed before the secondary stress syllable. Comma shows secondary stress. Kindergarten. Controversial. As we see here, uh, main stress is here as apostrophe and secondary is like a comma. And here is con is secondary stress and ver show is main stress. Now prominent. A prominent word stands out on other words around it. For example, in the phrase one of my friends, friends is prominent and the other words non-prominent. If a word has more than one syllable, it's only necessary to make one syllable prominent in order to make the whole word stand out, the prominent syllable. For example, in it's your responsibility. Bill is the prominent syllable and responsibility the prominent word. Stress shift. When a word is used in conversation and emphasized, one of the stressed syllables is made prominent. In a one stressed word, this is the stressed syllable, and in a two stressed word, it's usually the syllable with main stress. Prominence can move to the secondary stressed syllable in a word like controversial when it is followed by a word with another prominent syllable, particularly when the first syllable of the following word is prominent. She gave a controversial answer. As we see here, con on. Other words which often have stress shift include altogether, independent, indistinct, mediocre, satisfactory, university, weak, and earthwhile. Some place names which have main stress on the last syllable, such as Berlin, Cologne, Montreal. Team numbers 13, 19, and two part numbers 45, 78. 
Now, lunar birds. Lunar birds, they consist of fruit and suffix. For example, dangerous. Danger is root and O-U-S is suffix. Commercial. Commerce is root and I-L is suffix. Some words are made up of root and the suffix, as I have said. Suffixes which don't usually change the stress pattern. Suffixes which don't usually change the stress pattern in the root word include able, h, l, er, full, less, ness, o, u, s, and f, y. Comfort, comfortable, amplify, amplifier, foolish, foolishness, percent, percentage, regret, regretful, disaster, disastrous. Exceptions with able and l include admire, admirable, medicine, medis, medicinal, prefer, preferable, agriculture, agricultural. Before the suffixes I O U S, U L O U S, O R O U S, and E O U S. The main stress usually comes in the syllable before the suffix. Industry, industrious. Advantage, advantages. Mystery, mysterious. Outrage, outrageous. Some suffixes themselves usually have the main stress. These include double E, double ER, ESE, and E double T E. Absentee, refugee, engineer, mountaineer, Japanese, Nepalese, cigarette, disket. Exceptions include amulet, etiquette, employee, old or older, less commonly reused employee. Note, some people say cigarette. Suffixes IAL, IC, IRN, IVE, and ITY. The main stress is usually on the syllable immediately before the suffixes. Editor, editorial. Accelerate, acceleration. Generous, generosity. Atmosphere, atmospheric. Instinct, instinctive, diverse, diversity. When a word ends with one of the consonants, T or S, and the suffix I or N is pronounced as shun. After the letter suggestion, digestion. Shun, after other letters, education, adoption. S I O N is pronounced shun after a consonant extension uh, comprehension jun after a vowel decision preservation double S I O N is pronounced shun admission expression Some words change the pronunciation of the vowel in the main stressed syllable. Now, as we see, here are some examples given. E, R, E, I, Bible, Biblical, Type, Typical, Wise, Wisdom, Nation, National, Defame, Defamatory, Sane, Sanity, Complete, Compete, competitive. Uh, intervene, intervention. Or explore, exploratory. Now, knowledge. Compare, comparative. Declare, declarative. Drama, dramatize. Obscene, obscenity. Assume, assumption. Presume, presumption. A change in the pronunciation of the consonants that follow it.
In other words, like this, there is a change in the pronunciation of the vowel, in the stressed syllable, and also the spelling of uh, either this vowel and all the consonants that follow it. Now, collide, collision, divide, division, provide, provision, describe, description, descriptive, prescribe, prescription, prescriptive, subscribe, subscription, deceive, deception, repeat, repetitive, example, exemplary, retain, retention, explain, explanatory, Apply, applies, applicable. Some words are made of a prefix and a root. Now, prefixes this and root is like. Common prefixes include de, this, il, de, re, on. In some words, the prefix is unspersed and is only made prominent for a particular contrast usually have only one stressed syllable, dislike, or have secondary stress on the prefix. We consider the and pre prefixes. The prefix is usually pronounced D and re. If it's unstressed and D and re if it has secondary stress. Now compare. The great but decompose. Um, some words beginning re have the same spelling but a different stress and meaning depending on whether re means again or not. Recover, cover again. Recount, count again. Reform, form again. Remark, mark again, resort, sort again, resign, sign again. Now, this means uh, to do something again. And the second uh, meaning. Now, recover, get well, recount, describe, reform, improve, remark, comment, resort, tend to, resign, give up a job. Now, when re means again, the words are sometimes spelled with a high, for example, recover, recount. In some words with the prefixes, the prefix itself is stressed. Most words like this are nouns uh, and include co-driver, co-writer, co-star, counterattack, counterclaim, counterpart, subsection, subtext, subsoil, supermarket, superstructure, supermodel. Hyperspace, hypertext, hyperlink, interface, interchange, interplay, undercurrent, undergrowth, underwear. However, other words with these prefixes have main stress on the syllable after the prefix. Most words like these are adjectives and include co-education, co-operate, co-exist, subconscious. Substandard, subtropical, counterintelligence, counterproductive, countermand, supernatural, superabundant, superimpose, hyperactive, hypersensitive, hypercritical, undercover, underline, underage, interchangeable, intercontinental, interactive. Compound words. A compound word is a fixed expression which is made up of more than one word and which has the function of a noun. Some are written as two words, some with a hyphen, and some are as one word. Fresh barrier, double glazing, babysitter. The following types of compound noun usually have main space in the first part. Noun plus noun. For example, airport. Airport. The stress is uh, on the first part. Notice, however, that if the first part gives the material that the second part is made out of, 
Main stress usually goes on the second part. Compare cotton wool, buttock, cotton plant. Exceptions are most compounds ending with cake, bread, and juice, cheesecake, gingerbread, oranges. Now, class I and form. Bird watching, house hunting, fly fishing. Exceptions. Pedestrian crossing. Thanksgiving. ING form plus noun. Dressing gown, sitting room, freezing point. Exceptions. Managing director, uh, defining moment, casting vote. Verb plus noun. Search party. Control tower. Now, note. Other phrases may have the same forms but are not compounds. In this main stress, usually goes on the second word, campaign. Driving license, a compound but driving rain. Most adjectives, noun, compound, nouns have main stress on the second part and secondary stress on the first part. Social security, hot potato, absolute zero, exceptions, blind spot, dental floss, easy chair, broadband, greenhouse, adjective plus ing form, central heating, past participle plus noun, split infinitive, global warming, inverted commas, passive smoking, lost property, Okay, now here are some um, questions for you to um, practice. Now, you'll practice yourselves. Now, next one is exercises. First one is make the word in into a verb. Make the word in into a verb beginning with verb and a noun ending with y and use the words to fill the gaps when say then say the sentences now for example build i asked the builder to rebuild the wall we have to uh, use the correct stress patterns for the words and the gaps for the nouns and for the verbs builder and rebuild now second exercise is listen in each sentence one of the compound words in bold has stress on the first part and the other has stress on the second part too Underline the word if this is stress on the second part too. For example, they didn't they did a photocopies overnight. Okay, thanks for your attention. The lesson is over. Goodbye.